Well, hey there, beautiful people. How's everybody doing today? Hope your day has gotten off to an amazing start. I am super excited about what I'm going to talk to you guys today. Um, today, I'm going to actually shine a little light on the circumstances that are in your life. Um, the ones that you think are keeping you from stepping into your vision. Um, that dream that you have inside your heart. And I'm going to show you why those circumstances can actually be a stepping stone to propel you forward instead of a stumbling block to hold you back. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Betsy Crony and I help network marketing women to master their mindset, get out of their heads, get out of their own way so they can create a life of freedom, significance, and purpose. And I am coming to you live from Tampa, Florida. And I would absolutely love to know where you are coming in from. So please say hello. Drop in the comments. Tell me where you are. If you are new to my page or if you are watching the replay, please type new or replay so I can reach out to you after the fact. Say, hey, thank you for stopping by and just communicate with you. Um, so here we go. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard me say like a million times. <laughs> that what you focus on longest becomes strongest in your life and I'm gonna say it again because it's a fact you see on one side of your life you've got like this this big dream okay something that God has placed in your heart something that you want to do uh, the reason that you got into this industry in the first place maybe it's because you wanted to quit your job or to spend some more time with your family uh, maybe you want to buy a new house maybe you want to be able to vacation more uh, maybe you need a new car Maybe you're that person that just wants to give boatloads of money away to your favorite charity, to drill wells, build orphanage, whatever it is. Whatever that dream is. And then on the other side over here, you've got your circumstances, okay? Not enough money, not enough time, not enough skills, uh, maybe some sort of sickness that you have, a parent or a family member um, uh, that you're having to take care of, you know, and, and the list could just go on and on and on and on, okay? First of all, I need you to understand that I am absolutely not taking your circumstances lightly, okay? Um, but on the other hand, we've all got them. We've all got stuff, okay? Yes, some worse than others, but we all have them. And it wasn't until I was in this big old pit one day and somebody said to me, you know, I guarantee you there's somebody out there right now who's in a way worse situation than you are right now that is running circles around what you want to do in your life. Ouch. That kind of made me look at things in a different way. Okay? So I'm going to show you an example from my friend Joseph, okay? He's my friend Joseph in the Bible, who, by the way, is probably one of my most favorite, if not my all-time favorite Bible characters. And if you haven't read his story, it's in Genesis 37 through 15. And if you're an entrepreneur, especially if you're a network marketer, this is an incredible story for you to not just read, but to read over and over and over again, because it will give you great hope as you travel along your entrepreneurial path, because we all know that it's not an easy one, okay? So Joseph has this great dream. God gives him like this incredible dream, and he makes the mistake of telling his brothers about it. And he pretty much pisses them off, okay? So as a side note here, be careful who you're sharing your dreams with because everybody is not going to be as excited about them as you are. And you're going to have lots of people who are going to be telling you why you can't do what you want to do. But again, that's a side note and that could be a whole another video by itself. So anyway, Joseph and his brothers are out one day and they had thought, they actually had thoughts of killing him. Okay, but instead of killing him, they sell him into slavery. And, and and they sell him into slavery in Egypt, and and it and it's to this guy named Potiphar. Okay, now if Joseph were to immediately assess his circumstances, he would probably say that he was in a really crappy situation, which is what a lot of us do when something bad happens. But here's the deal, guys: if Joseph hadn't been sold to Potiphar, he would never have been in Potiphar's house to have a confrontation with Potiphar's wife, who then chooses to lie about him and have him thrown in prison. If he wasn't in prison, he never would have had the opportunity to interpret the dreams of Pharaoh's officers. If he hadn't interpreted the dreams of Pharaoh's officers, 
he would never have been interpreted or been summoned to interpret Pharaoh's dreams. And if he hadn't interpreted Pharaoh's dreams, Pharaoh would never have promoted him to prime minister over the entire Egyptian empire, second only to Pharaoh. Original dream from God fulfilled. Boom, right there. But as you're reading the story of Joseph's life, it looks like he's just this poor guy that can't catch a break. Oh, poor pitiful me, all this stuff is happening to me until the end. So maybe, just maybe, it's time to stop looking at your circumstances as problems and start looking at them as stepping stones and asking yourself this question. What am I supposed to be learning in this situation right now so I can move forward? You see, even though Joseph's circumstances were incredibly raunchy, he never got bitter, he never complained, and he always maintained a good attitude. And that's why he continued to get promoted. So if you're asking that question, what can I learn here? God is going to give you an answer. Okay? No matter where you are or what your circumstances are right now, what you need to remember is God is right there in the middle of your circumstances right now with you, whether you see him or not. And he is working behind the scenes to make a way where there seems to be no way. But if you continue to focus on the circumstances and all the things that you can't do, or if you're whining and you're complaining about your circumstances, you're never going to see that dream come to fruition in your life. In fact, you're just going to keep attracting more bad stuff that you don't want. You see, Joseph went from the pit to the palace overnight, okay? One day this guy's in jail, and the next day he's second in command over the entire land of Egypt. And he wasn't even an Egyptian, okay? Sure, guys, there were years of things that happened before his promotion, what you need to realize is you could be at that place right now where you might not see a way, but God has a way. And today just might be that day. But if you're focused on the problem, you're never going to see the promise. So guys, I hope this was helpful information for you. And if it was, I would really appreciate it if you would share it with somebody that you think might benefit. Guys, I'm here for you anytime if you need prayer, if you need somebody to help you get out of your head and, and um, just, you know, figure out a way to help you over your circumstances. I'm here for you in any way that, that uh, you need me. So feel free to reach out to me via messenger anytime. I really appreciate everybody taking the time to watch. Hope everybody has an awesome rest of your day. Take care. God bless.